So welcome back to the channel guys. Hopefully you can see me, that sun is so bright, but it doesn't matter because look what I found. I have someone who is gonna let us check out his 21 Ford F-350. And you guessed it right, if you see the little side there, it doesn't say power stroke. This is a 7.3 liter. This is a big gas V8. And I have someone who's gonna start a YouTube channel for you guys. Hey everybody, I'm Ryan, that's my truck. It's a, uh, yeah, the Lariat Black Appearance Package, 7.3. Special ordered it with the uh, 430 gearing on it. Um, debated about getting a diesel, so interested to try out Justin's ride right here. Yep, so he's gonna drive my truck. We'll, we'll, I'm gonna drive his truck first, and then he's gonna give his impressions. He's not gonna hold back, because he seems like he's a Ford guy. No, I'm just kidding. You're not a Ford guy. You, what did you have before this, actually? Uh, I've had three trucks this pandemic. I had a uh, Toyota Tundra. I had a uh, GMC AT4, the uh, the HD, and uh, now, I, now I got this one. Yeah, so he had the 6.6. He was towing a Montana High Country big boy. Yeah. And so he's going to be able to give you perspective on both trucks. So I'm going to put his channel in here for you. So be sure to go and subscribe to him. I'm going to post these videos really slow because we got to get this guy to 1,000 subscribers because... You see what he has, right? You guys keep asking me about four trucks and seven threes. I found a guy who can actually provide that content for you. So in this video, we are gonna go around his truck. We are gonna drive it today. And then hopefully if, you know, if I say please enough, maybe Ryan might let us tow with his truck too. Fifth Ooh. wheel, fifth Ooh, wheel. That'd be fun. Yeah, okay, yeah. all right. I heard you like the Reese Goose box. Oh, yes I do. Yes I do, here we go. There it is guys. This is like the best color combination. Black on blue just pops right. In order to get this package, it does make you get the LED headlights too. And I would not be upset about that too. I mean, how are oh, the headlights? Oh, they're great. They, they're great? Uh, oh, yeah. They light up the road perfectly. Nice, not nice. Not too much, not too little. Not too much, not too little. And you have like a dual beam. Now, I did do a video a while ago on these headlights. And this is your low beam. And this is your high beam and then this kind of acts as like a reflector for the signs going down the road and you do have a beautiful accident light too when you go down the road too for like a daytime running light you have led turn signals led fog lights and really big bold front grille now i'm wondering are you going to get rid of that air dam below <laughs> you're going to get some worse fuel economy i mean i yeah i heard it's for fuel economy i i definitely ordered this truck uh for towing a fifth wheel, right? Like I'm not I'm not going off-road with it. I'm towing a fifth wheel. That's very much the purpose of this truck. So that will probably stay there. Might put a hitch up there though. Okay, okay. I can see that because you have a bunch of stuff. I mean, they do travel full-time. They're looking to sell their house. Yep, three kids, so, you know, and a wife, that's five people. Uh, hard to get five bikes on a, uh, on a bike rack, so we'll need one on the back of the trailer and one on the front here. Yeah, speaking of the front, let's go ahead and open that hood up. Oh, okay. So that we can show them what we're talking about here. Hopefully I remember how to do it. I know, right? I you got it. To do it yet. You got it. Look at that big boy. I have not seen this in a long time. And there it is. 7.3 liter V8. Now this is good for 430 horsepower, class leading, 475 pound-feet of torque, class leading. And it is made it to a 10-speed transmission, the 10R140. And it was new back in 2020. This is a like a commercial grade gas engine the architecture basically of it is just top notch and yeah i mean it's 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 done well and from what i've seen i have a couple friends that have this this set up too and they haven't had any problems with it have you had any issues yeah every so often when i'm on the highway if i gotta go up a hill or something and i get you know downshifted to like fourth or fifth uh -huh. it, it kind of wants to stay there even though uh, like you know it's smoothed out i should be able to shift but for the most part it's it's really smooth is that in tow haul mode or yeah tow haul mode okay yep okay yep that makes sense just on hills okay most of the time it's buttery smooth let's go ahead and take a look at the side so 20 inch wheel you do have some blackout treatments on your emblems and this is a michelin tire see this is stock tires right yeah so this is the fx4 package oh, okay so this is the tire that comes with that uh, it's pretty sure that's the tire that comes with the fx4 package there might be a different tire that comes with the uh the the lariat uh black appearance package 
Uh, I'm not sure what you got to do to order that, but it is it is a little bit bigger than the than the stock tire, but it's not as big as the the Tremor tire. Got you, got you. And this does have a solid front axle too. And yeah, these tires. Let's see what the size is. This is a 275 6520, and down below here, you do have 3,750 pounds of capacity, and this should be 80 psi coat. There you go. Yeah. Uh, we're running the front 60 that's you know what the what the sticker says okay. 60 in the front 80 in the back I would like to get your impressions on 80 psi max out because that's what I run I run that bad boy 80 psi what I'm talking I do 80 psi all the way around so yeah just, yeah I would like to get your impressions on that we run the back ones at uh, well I run the back ones at 80 oh okay. I'll, leave, I'll leave the front ones at 60 so okay I mean that's what it tells me so I went with it that's cool that's cool nothing wrong with that but like even up on the mirror too you can see they have like a black accent up here too and these are going to be powered with some lights on it and black running boards look pretty good too yeah i'm really i'm really digging this blue paint too what i cannot remember what this color is velocity blue velocity blue really nice color and i don't even know the size of this gas tank but i'm going to assume it's bigger than mine I bet it's not. I think it's... Uh, I bet it is. 28 or 30? No way! We're going to put it here in the video because mine, I think, is a 31 gallon. And towing the fifth wheel, that's just... that That's that's hurtful. I've, I've tried, <laughs> but I haven't managed to break $100 filling it. Up. Okay. No. That's, hey, that's not bad. I mean, I, I break $100 every time because diesel is a lot more expensive at truck stops, too. So. Yeah. Yeah. So what we got back here on this uh, suspension? So this is the 350. So... Uh, there's not a whole lot of difference, but you do get that extra leaf spring. Okay. Um, right there. Mm -hmm. Nice. Mm -hmm. Nice. This guy knows his truck, man. Look at that. So this does have the overload leaf springs. You did opt for the 430 rear end. Yes. Got you. And then this does have the class five receiving hitch. Mm -hmm. And you have a four and a seven pin. Yep. As well as in the in the bed. As well as in the bed. Okay. I'm surprised they put a chrome handle back here. Yeah. It, it, they blacked out everything except for that. So, that's that's I don't know. odd. Yeah, I uh, seen somebody use black plasti dip, you know, because oh, you could always yeah. peel it off. Uh huh. Maybe it doesn't look bad. Maybe, maybe. So there you yeah. go. And so you have this is a twelve pin. This is like a new standards plug that they have, and then you have your seven pin connector there. That twelve pin will let you hook up to that backup system Ford has, oh, which okay. I haven't used at all but no problem. that's what you need for the cameras so yeah well you have a camera up there camera up top yep. and then you have see i will say so if you guys don't know ryan does have a reese goose box just like me i do now with my bmw ball mine sits probably like a couple inches higher than yours so what's the height like with your fifth wheel you would say so i had the bmw ball and i switched to this one which is uh probably an inch and a half shorter and i think it you know leveled out my trailer a little bit oh nice so i think it rides a little better you know maybe i could adjust how the uh the reese goose ball is is mounted on the trailer instead but mm -hmm. um but this is doing the job okay okay you do have a backup camera and you do have a light for your conventional hitch because this has the cameras on the mirrors and on the front i did not show you the camera on the front this does have a 360 camera view too. Yes, it so, does. Yeah, and I love the fact that they painted the door handles. I mean, this is a really nice truck. I'm going to show you guys the window sticker here in the video, but let's go ahead and take a look on the interior, all right? Now, as far as the interior goes, you guys can see it's all finished in black. If you do get the black appearance, you cannot get any other interior color, but overall, very classy. I mean, you're used to seeing black interiors on cars these days, so you won't be disappointed, but they do give you some different color trim pieces inside the interior a wood trim piece here with a little bit of chrome and yeah I mean it's this is our typical Ford Super Duty interior it looks really good um, in 2022 they did shift to a bigger screen but apart from that this is the exact same interior that I'm used to seeing so mm -hmm. yeah, let's go ahead and uh, start this bad boy up I'm actually really excited to drive this now I'm going to tell you guys now I am gonna snake you in this video. So in the next video, we're gonna drive it, but I will show you around the interior real quick and then we're gonna end off on the payload number. So let's go ahead and start it up. 
Ooh, that door sounds good too, man. <laughs> it's just it has nice. I've been like paying attention to that more now when I do reviews on cars. So if you, so you do have a key. Can you get push button start with the Lariat? I don't think you can with the Lariat. I think you, I think you have to jump up to the Platinum. Gotcha. You might be right. I, I haven't had a chance to do a lot of videos on these trucks, but when you start it up, that nice seven three comes to life. And let's go ahead and let's put it in reverse. So I want to show you guys these camera views. So even with the smaller screen, it is still really clear. Um, sometimes, actually yours is clearer than what I've seen in the past. Like I've, I don't know, maybe, maybe Ford's updated that camera because on one truck I did, it was really fuzzy. But yours seems to be pretty clear for the most part. And that, that 12 pin connector, is that, that's not it. It's this one. That's for the 12 pin connector right there. And then you got some angles there. Go back. Let's go back to this one. So this is the bed camera there. Now we, we were talking about this yesterday. Is it hard to hook up your Reese Gooseball using this camera? I, I mean, it's hard in general right you got that little bit of ball yeah. to hit and there's not a not a lot of uh, room for error so yeah i think the camera uh I, i've i've gotten used to it um added some markings to my uh you know there's a line here and i added a marking onto the middle of my goose box so that mm -hmm. i can help follow along you know nice. um still having a problem with the depth though and i think i need another marking there okay i've got the uh backflip mx4 uh cover on there that folds up so i can't actually see the ball when i'm trying to hook up now what is one thing that you love about the interior of this truck uh probably this horn right here <laughs> <laughs> not yet not yet not yet coming not soon yet. coming soon man when the, when you're pulling that pulling your fifth wheel and somebody's like yeah i'm just gonna drive in front of this man. truck he can stop yeah need that horn um, but yeah, you know, what do I love about the, the interior of this truck? Um, I like having the car play, um, being able to, 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 you know, play whatever I want while I'm driving down the road and, and the sound system in here is, is pretty good. You know, I'm not going to say it's, uh, I'm no audiophile, but, uh, it definitely does the job and, uh, I don't even need to turn it up that loud. It, it sounds great. And I think Ryan was rubbing it in cause he knows that I like these auxiliary switches up here. I hate what Ram does. They put them down here and then it kind of messes with the layout for the next generation ram please put them here ford is doing it correctly all right guys so check this out now this is an actual owner using this truck so they do have a small dog that goes on the floor, on the floor here or medium-sized dog really she's about 45 pounds 45 pounds about 45, 45 pounds so yeah. 45 pound dog and they have a child seat i mean this truck this cab is definitely bigger than the rams for sure and I mean, the headroom is really nice. And yeah, they have three kids back here. And are they pretty comfortable? Do they fight? <laughs> they usually have their heads in their iPads, but uh, no, they don't. They don't fight while we're driving. Um, we we've gone on you know five six hour long drive days, and I mean, we had one 11 hour drive day, and you know it was it was fine. Uh, it wasn't great, but it was fine. Yeah. I mean, these rear seats don't recline, but I mean, apart from that, I'm pretty sure they'll probably incorporate that on the next model. But you do have some plugs below, two USBs right there. You also have a power plug and you also have this like a standard plug. One thing I always tell my kids, do not leave these doors open because they will break and they will make me angry. So I always have to remind them. I'm always actually closing it myself, but yeah that's that's why I, I haven't told them about those <laughs> <laughs> smart that's smart that's a good idea <laughs> just leave them alone just leave them alone <laughs> exactly i agree yeah. so here's a quick look at the window sticker for this specific truck be sure to pause it if you want to see more here's some of the optional equipment that was listed on the window sticker here's your base price total options and your destination at $16.95. And here's your total price at $67,600. Before we end this video, check out this kick plate. Look at that, that looks really cool. It's like finishing like a black chrome. 
and we have to go over the numbers next video we are going to do a drive and i think you guys will like it so i'm going to give my perspective on this truck everyone keeps asking me to do a video on this and i can't find them and ryan was so gracious to let me do a video on his truck so much appreciated so you have to go subscribe to his channel i'm gonna put it here one more time for you guys now the gross axe weight rating of this truck up front is going to be 4,800 pounds the gross axle in the rear is 7,230 pounds. Gross vehicle weight rating is 11,300. All in payload capacity is 3,787 pounds. So that is huge numbers, mm -hmm. especially for what you have. He has a Keystone Montana, 37 foot, 335 BH, is that what it is? 335 BH, yep. 335 BH, yep. and so if you guys are subscribing to his channel you guys will see his impressions on his truck and how it tows so be on the lookout for that hopefully if we have time we'll do a tow video with this truck and my truck with my fifth wheel and then as he said earlier he does have the Reese goose box mm -hmm. so it, it'll be easier to hook up to this thing okay. quickly so yeah on that note guys thank you guys so much for watching this video and be sure to subscribe to my channel and give me a thumbs up and let me know what you think in the comment section about this video see you soon